sucks. We can't even get all the power-ups in this area right now. Yeah, we're gonna need to come back here later. Yep, but either way, now we are in Craig's Lair! Which, yep, they want you to come here right after you get the, uh, Ice Beam. But, you know, it's always nice to be prepared. Having the berries will make things a lot easier. Fine, I might not have said it yet. You take half damage. Yep. That's the other thing that makes you it You also great. get the armor bonus with it. Yep. I'm trying to remember this the right way. I assume it is, but we just keep going for now. You'd think, but you might be blocked up. Ah, uh, yes, because if I remember correctly, there's something down here that... An introduction to something in this game, it's pretty freaking cool. Yep. And special panels. It's like, honestly, we got through boost ball tunnels in the original yep. Metroid games. I do like those things. Yeah. Speed booster. Hmm. You don't think? Not yet. Nah, no way. They wouldn't introduce it in this game so soon. Yeah, definitely not this soon. No way. But yeah, I definitely would consider this one of the best remakes. This is a good time to talk about a lot of remakes, because yeah. there have been a lot of good ones around lately. There's been a lot of remakes been coming around That's Metroid Prime Remastered, it's very faithful to what it is, but almost, Some people would argue that... It's like a remaster from the ground up. It's almost a remake. Yeah. The, I know the uh, terminology for remake is basically coming from the fact that it's built from the ground up. I like to, I like to generally call remastered if it's a game that's like very much like the original, but it has some improvements. But, you know, if you actually change a lot of core ideas, or change, like, a few core things, then yeah, I can definitely see Remake being a thing, which... I guess I could consider best... It is crazy, they call it Metro Prime Remastered, but it is like a remake. Because it was built from the ground up, right? Yeah, yeah it was. So in our, in essence, like, how much did it add in terms of quality of life? <sighs> Not, like, a heck of a lot. It's more like the extra the control schemes, you have a lot of customization for that. I will say, though, it makes no lock-on easier. Because <laughs> she kind of actually auto-aims if you don't lock on to things. Hmm. So that's something that's also kind of cool. You don't lock on if there's something, like, towards the center of the screen, she'll, like, automatically try to shoot it. It is pretty neat. But, yeah, it's a great remake. Great remake. Oh, God! Another new boss! Yep. Basically keeps shooting in its vulnerable spot until it freaking dies. Oh, here's another... Another boss that's made extremely easy because of the barrier suit. Yep, because... You'll, you you'll know when it's doing its attack. Here goes the ass and oh no! Uh, um, okay, huh. um, sure. Neat. Ah. Yeah, having the barrier suit makes this boss an absolute joke. Oh, it's probably, I forgot, there's another thing I kind of don't like with this Metroid game I forgot, but it's something that will be more apparent with later bosses. Yeah. Most bosses don't aren't really vulnerable to regular beam shots. Yeah. They're really only vulnerable with missiles or charge beam shots. And of course, that's something I don't like with this game. Because at least, well, the charge beam honestly kind of feels useless. You pretty much just want to use freaking missiles most of the time. Yeah. Because I feel like the uh, I feel like Z fusion balanced that a lot better. Because the charge shot didn't take so long to charge. It felt like. Yep. There is a power up down there. You saw the crack in the wall to your left? I think you can wall cling in there. Or do that. There you go. You knew there was something. Yeah, I'm like, there's something around here. It has to be. You have 100% of this game for, right? Just curious. Not really. Like I said, 100% of Metroid games is... Oh, no, right, that I... wasn't really your thing. Right, yeah. right. Okay. All right, I didn't know if it was at least this one you did. Okay. The first time I actually truly did it was... Right one? Right, right actually. Oh, right, right. There is also with you as well, but... Right, but I did it by was... myself. Oh, right, on your own, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Dread, yeah, yeah. I think, was the first time I think I actually did it by myself. Then again, the maps for Dread were great. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I was gonna say something about... That was something annoying. No, wait, actually, no. No, I'm wrong. Uh, Metroid 2 Remake. That was oh, the first yeah, time yeah, I did it. Sure, it's okay. Yeah. Sure. That was the first time I did it, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were going the right way, by the way. Oh yeah, I forgot I need we're, to go out this way. Yep, we're going to take the elevator to get the hell out of here, but... The little ball shooter thing. Which, by the way, those little grappling hooks to the ceiling, we powered up a machine that basically has powered yep. on. So, so, yep, now we can go forward. That's why I had to come this way. Also, you can jump into it as Morph Ball, which you will need for a power-up or two. Yep, so, in case you're wondering how, what, he, what he's talking about, we'll no, see, you'll see. You have to Morph Ball into it. 
But don't worry, the ones you have to do that with for power-ups they're are generally, easier to do it. They are generally more noticeable. You'll, you'll see when we get to it. Yeah. Right now, let's just uh, head down. We have the Resident Evil 4 remake, which is really good. Some people say it's the best remake ever. Not that it really changed a lot. Then again, I mean, there's a lot of things about... I'm playing it right now, and I do know a lot of... Um, it definitely feels like it has more horror aspect to it than the original, which some people might hold against it because it does keep some of the cheese of the original, right. which may not mesh completely well with some people. Yeah. I personally don't mind because, I mean, I like the characters. And I think in terms of characterization, some of the characters, I think, got a little bit of a bump. Yeah. Yeah, I could probably see that. I gotta love these fucking things. Oh, right, we can't do this yet. Yep, because That's we need a particular why. item. At least this Metroid game makes it easy for you to know when you can't get something. You just blast it up, try to blast it up, more ball bombs. Like, no, get this item, idiot. Yep. It's like you're not, you don't have, you're not fully capable enough. Get good, scrub. You call me an idiot, though. Yes. What? Grab me, call you a scrub. I apologize. Exactly. My, I apologize for my previous outputs. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I think he had Spring Ball in this game. I forget when you get it. Oh! High jump! Right. Yep. When high you jump, get high you jump, you get Spring Ball attached. Right, 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 right. I, I know, know there's something at the bottom. I want to check something first. Yep. I go this way. Oh, good! We got the we got these big hoppers that do a lot of damage. Yep. So we can't I remember. I think I remember when I first played this game. This area kicked the shit out of me. Yep. I know my hard mode runs, my low percent runs. This, These rooms frequently got me. Hard mode has definitely got me, yeah. I ignore this way I'm low percent. My first play, I got my shit wrecked by that enemy. Yeah, that thing would be really friggin' annoying. And again, oh, man. And again, I also learned a lesson. Don't be afraid to use your um, missiles. Yup. Your missiles are definitely... That's a, that is one thing that's good about Zero Mission. Your, your missiles get extremely useful. Yeah, you your missiles get your missiles. hell. Well, my low percentage is a pain. Yep. At least they make it so certain bosses have strategies and you can get more missiles back. You don't want to... Okay, yeah. Actually, there's nothing in there. There's something in here, though. However, I don't... Room know forward. Go room forward first, so you get a power beyond the backtrack for. Here's one of the ones that can be seen as a little weird. First things first? Yeah, that in a thin corridor. How you get there, you may be wondering. We have these walls here, too. But we can break all of them thanks to these. You may happen to notice there's a magnetic track of some kind that's being blocked. Yep. Maybe we need Spider Bowl to get across there. Oh, we need to shoot that first. Boy, it's Spider Bowl. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Speedboard spread ruined again. Oh, you got bombed again. Yeah, sometimes it's a little finicky. Can't really hurt them, but whatever. Yep, these floors you can fall through, so you can't climb in here and just roll around like a morph ball either. Claw your way up. Now you can go back. Because this way it just takes you back to the main central room. What you don't really want to do right now. Yep, we're trying to go forward after all. Yep, another essential power we're going to need later. So down here? And I do need later. Remember that symbol? We have a new, another new one. Another. Well, we have a save room at least. Yeah, as long as I have. Right, what other great remakes are there? There's Did the RE remake. The original Very Resident Evil remake, which I can vouch for, is definitely fun. Mm, As no somebody who's not a fan of horror games, I definitely liked it. Yep. Dead Space remake. Yeah, Dead Space remake is really good. That's right. I just know some people don't like uh, Isaac Clarke's face. Yeah. <laughs> they reveal it. <laughs> Combination of like Ryan Reynolds and Adam Sandler or something like that. Oh god. Yeah. Then there's some other remakes that have a little bit more divisiveness attached to it. Final Fantasy VII is the biggest one. Yeah, the mainly for the story and yeah. how much they expand on some characters that probably didn't really need it. One of those that feels like there's might have been more fluff than necessary. Yeah. Just for the sake of adding fluff. I didn't mind it personally, but I can definitely see an argument being made. Oh yeah, we're talking Sam's Return, just technically yep. another one. Another, another good remake of the original one. I guess you can say it for a lot of NES games. Yeah, a lot of good NES games have remakes, so some of them don't pan out as well as you think. Oh, one of the greatest remakes! Sonic Genesis! Oh, God. First More of all, like that was a, a port. Second of all, that was terrible and you should feel bad. More like a re-break. <laughs> oh. We still have my favorite D-make. Mega Man Extreme. That is true. 
I do like the idea of teammates. You just never see them because it's a weird idea. Yeah. Basically taking the game and trying to put the it idea on, of like, a lesser might, hardware. The idea of a teammate can rub people the wrong way because it just feels like you're kind of just... Like, breaking it down to such few, um... Bits that's just kind of like, why would I play it like this or something like that? Yeah, it's it's a nice like go back like a history lesson though. Yeah, it's also nice to show that you can basically do this game that's on like better hardware with weak hardware. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, little note: those red enemies are um, when you kill them, their eyes pop, pop, pop out. Oh yeah, their eyes know. fucking drop. We don't need to go this way, but I want to check here anyway. Nothing up here. There's a path back up to the central room. Right. Nope. I was, saying, I was gonna wonder if you were gonna remember to go back. You want me to go back? Is there anything I need to go back for? I'm gonna go back, go back to where the you just path? were. Yeah. Yeah, you saw the tunnel. You know where you're going. Yep. Shoot the! Oh, I was saying you shot that and then yeah. leaned towards the wall. You grab it immediately. Yeah, I know. At least part of the first boss. Almost. Mm. Are you talking? Are you still I was saying the, the classic Sonic remakes were good though. That is true. At least. One, the air. two, and There's CD. the air on variations. One, two, up. CD, and air. Yeah. Well, the Origins isn't terrible, just not as good as air is. Hi! Hi! It's Green! Hey, hey, hey! How do you rise up here, you bitch? Just great words like he does in Super Metroid. If you need that bit of reference. You shoot him in the eye, so you shoot him in the mouth. Do enough times in the mouth, he's dead. Thank with all the gear we have, he's a joke. Yep. I don't like how the bottom claw is tinted green, the other one tinted red. And just like all the other major bosses in the Metroid games, you tell they're nearly dead because they look red. And you need to... And another thing of the bosses. Like I said, one of the other games are missiles. So in case you're wondering, what happens when I run a missile and I can't kill them? Charge shot. That or all the weapons they shoot out, they basically yep. have a chance of... You see him again. shooting his fingernails at you. You can shoot them and you can get back your missiles. Yep. Means I'll learn to shoot enemy projectiles, get some ammo and health back. Yep. No! No! God damn it, Sarah's Aaron! I will come back with a vengeance! I'm gonna be tied up first. I dread when you come back. <laughs> There'll be a super reunion. Wait a minute. Wait, yes. <laughs> oh my god, we did a speed booster already! Yep. So they decided to add some new power-ups that weren't originally in the original game. Yep. Super Metroid, because some of them just work so well. Mm -hmm. yep. Speed Booster is an example. It's hard to think of the game speed without them. I keep forgetting that Sarah's Returns didn't have a Speed Booster. Yeah, it's crazy. But instead they had the power that slowed things down, which is weird. There's nothing in here. You're good here. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's technically nothing in this room either, but except a shortcut if you know what you're doing. Yeah, this this whole place can be a little hard to get through. I say that's a little harder to speed boost jump right away. But yep, this game also expects you to know how the shine spark works. Well, you don't technically need it, but without it, it's pretty difficult. You need to know how to do the speed booster run. You don't necessarily need to know how to do the shine spark, which is basically you crouch down and then jump in neutral form. Which I will say. It does get a little annoying when you need to know how to do certain ones. I think you can here or I think you can climb up without the speed boost. Actually, no. I guess you do need to do a speed booster that way. Yeah. Is there anything at the you bottom? You that wall. Is there anything at the bottom path? That's all I'm wondering. Nope. Okay, so it's just me being in it. Okay. You're experimenting. I'm at least allowing you to experiment and see if you learn something. <laughs> I don't want to give away everything. I just want to see. I just don't want time to be wasted. We're going somewhere that's going to be backtracking nowhere. Oh, I remember this room from Metroid 1. Fuck this room from Metroid 1. Yeah. That was like my least favorite room in the original Metroid. <laughs> Alright. Maybe you speed boost through there just fine. There's a lot of speed boost shortcuts. And that was very soon. We don't take damage from that. Hang on, I want to try something for a second because if I'm correct. Don't know if I can pull it off though. I'm gonna Maybe try you're gonna have to think about speed boosting through here. You could do it. It just gives you a shortcut to basically get to that side of the room more quickly. I don't think you can speed boost up the acid fall if that's your thinking. First. Oh yeah, I forgot it. By the way, I forgot to mention. Hold the L button to basically do a diagonal aim. 
If you do that, you can basically, you can also do it while you're in giant spark form to be able to basically okay, fly back diagonal. To the room. So I'm gonna go the other way first. I think it's just a save point the other way. Yeah, pretty sure it's just a save point. So you're probably good. Alright then. At least you don't need to reveal every save point. That would be kind of weird. <laughs> I need to reveal every save point to get 100% in this game. Oh, okay. Don't know if there's anything on the other side, but I'm not going to bother. We're going to come back anyway. Another great series of remakes, the Mario Advance games. That is true. Especially Mario Advance 4, the remake of Mario 3. Yep, Mario 3 got they the They kept it true to the original pretty much. Yep, As the refinements make it a little easier, and gave you the eerier levels, which is a nice add-on. You really care about that, but yep, it was the it was truly the best way to play. All oh, right, I see what you want to do here. Park. And... Well, good enough. I had a different idea. You know what? That works just as well. At least those blocks are currently gone. Then again, I can soft block you. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, just take that back. I'd rather do this than trust the acid. Yeah, the Mario Advance games are pretty good. Although, really only for Mario Advances 1 and 4. Yeah. Because honestly, Advance 2 and Advance 3, you're better off just playing the Super Nintendo version because they play fine, but the colors are a little washed out, and especially for Yoshi's Island, the soundtrack doesn't sound as good in the Game Boy Advance yeah. sound chip. I hear the cutscene that you can technically skip and go after the other boss first. But we have both ships. And what looks to be... Ah. Everybody's favorite pterodactyl. Are we there yet? No, sire. We got a long way to go. God damn it. We're going to from Mother Brain. She wants us to come back. you got to be fucking kidding me! Oh, yeah. This is technically the beginning of the Metroid story. Yep. The Metroid origin. Yep. Don't forget. We have Mother Brain who's on this planet who is working together with that pterodactyl thing. Yep. They're basically... Well, trying to take care of the Shozo race that originally lived on this planet. Because, well... Yeah. Basically, that pterodactyl thing is leading a band of and creatures called space pirates that are basically trying to be assholes and conquer the world. Also go down here, good luck, bitch. And, well, Samus's people on her planet were killed off by that pterodactyl and its creatures. So, the Shozo, the crazy... the Really smart bird people took her in and trained her to be a warrior, fight for peace. Yep. Basically, she left the Shozo Wars to do her own thing with her own species, humans. Oh, by the way, more fall bomb around that floor. Um, up the platform, around the floor. Now keep looking around. This one's easy to miss. Now lean to the right. That's a hard one to remember. Hmm. Now for my exploit. Yep, you know what to do there. But yep, basically, yep. Samus got trained by the Shozo people, was off to do her own thing, helped and eventually met up with the Galactic Federation, now their commander, Adam Malkovich, and basically didn't she like was the way part of the Galactic Federation yep. and eventually turned into a bounty hunter or something. Yep, because she didn't like the way Galactic Federation more just observed things too much without taking any action. She wanted to take action, so she went independent. Yep. While she was doing that, basically a Shozo rebellion happened. Because there are two different breeds of Shozo, and one of them decided to side with Mother Brain and have basically the rest of the Shozo eliminated. Because, well, apparently they're trying. Mother Brain decided, which was a Shozo creation, to do what was necessary to help maintain galactic peace and help prolong the life of the Shozo people. So it's time to leave the Space Pirates! And basically massacred most of the Shozo, leaving yep. all known to the black. And, well, basically, Sam's got a distress signal after everything went down to basically come back here and, uh, take care of the rogue threat. Okay. Yep. Let's get this I think you remember what to do here. This one can be kind of difficult. This one's a pain. But you know how to do it, so... I can't do this. I just need to, you know, do it. You want to start with here, left door open, hold diagonal down, and then press down. Oh, we need the high jump first. That's right. Because you need the ball jump. Yep. We need high jump for that. Then we need the exploit. Ah, huh, damn. I forgot about So now we are technically backtracking. Oh, well, fuck it. We can still show off the exploit. Who cares? But I think we'll get the high jump before. I'm just saying, like, 
we're gonna get the high jump, we're gonna come back here for that. Yeah. We need the high jump to get the barrier suit. I'm just saying we're ended up backtracking anyway, which is fine. Hey, whatever. Piece of shit. 